This method can help answer key questions in the host pathogen interaction field, such as the pathogenicity and virulence of bacterial infection. The main advantage of this technique is that we can evaluate the toxicity among and within aeromonas species and contribute to our understanding of the pathogenesis of aeromonas infection. To begin, wash approximately 2,000 gravid adult worms with sterile deionized water. Repeat the wash three times, keeping the worms at the bottom of the tube. After centrifuging the worms, remove the supernatant and keep the worms in 3.5 milliliters of deionized water. Add 1 milliliter of sodium hypochlorite and 0.5 milliliters of potassium hydroxide to the tube. Then, shake the tube for 6 minutes to lyse the worm bodies. After the eggs are released, add 10 milliliters of deionized water to stop the lysis. Then, centrifuge the tube to pull down the eggs and remove as much of the supernatant as possible. Wash the eggs with 15 milliliters of M9 medium at least 3 times. Transfer the eggs to a 3.5 centimeter dish and incubate them at 20 degrees Celsius for one night. After this, remove 10 microliters of L1 worms and M9 medium from the plate. Count the worms and obtain the concentration of L1 worms in the M9 medium. Using a pipette, take 0.5 milliliters of E. coli OP50 LB broth and spread it on an ENGM plate. 